Hello YouTubers, Robin Jr. here, and in today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about why Battlegrounds is so good. So if you guys don't know what Player Unknown's Battleground is, it is a battle royale type game. And Player Unknown, who is the creative director for Battlegrounds, who is called Player Unknown, did the original uh, battle royale mods for Armor 3 and H1Z1. So before this game, I had never played any battle royale games except for H1Z1 once, which I got refunded after my buddy told me to take a look at this game. And then we all proceeded to pretty much buy this game and play loads of it in the past couple weeks. And here's, is, here are the reasons why I think this game is so good. And I think it really is going to be great. Like right now, it's only in early access and there are so many people playing it. It's crazy. Uh, the first week of early access sales, I think they reached like 11 million million dollars so I do think this is gonna be a big game once it is finished and that it's gonna get loads of attention from a lot of people so firstly I'm just gonna go through the list I made for why the game is so good so the gunplay is enticing and at the core of the game and the combat so if you can't shoot properly or if your aim is off or you're not very accurate with your weapons or you don't know the gun mechanics or you can't control recoil or you think it's just a run and gun type of game it is not it is very very difficult to actually uh, shoot people on the move uh, you have to you have to get the tactical advantage and you have to get the drop on your enemies or it can be very difficult to actually win so the gunplay is what is the the main focus of this game next thing is every kill feels rewarding seeing as it is very tactical and a lot of skill is involved in this game of course some certain random elements of uh, what you find for loot can also be uh, figure into if you win or not, but mostly if you're skillful you will get far in this game And that's why every kill feels rewarding you most of the time if you win You're not gonna get like 20 kills in the game. You might get five or six kills or maybe ten But every one of those kills you feel like you earned it. and it's especially rewarding when you manage to take out a squad of three or four solo handedly and just like wreck them all it, it, oh man it, your heart gets pounding so much which brings me to the next point is the range of emotion felt in every game now right now there's a third person mode and and you already feel stressed out and tense when you're playing this game especially when you get towards the top 10 uh, my heart starts pounding my palms get sweaty and it, it's just a whole roller coaster of emotions I've never had a game give me an inner heart attack experience just from a vehicle driving by me or uh, a grenade flying close to me or even thunder when the weather changes and there's a storm out so it just gives you this big range of emotions and you, you it almost borderlines paranoia because you always think someone is around you you always have to look everywhere and I think this is gonna be even more amplified with the first person game mode that they're working on so you will only be able to be in first person that's gonna be crazy I can't wait to see what that's gonna gonna be about it's gonna be insane uh, the next thing is it's very tactical so you have to move tactically especially when you're playing in squads or even when you're playing solo or duos uh, you have to always get into that safe zone circle and sometimes you have to move through open fields or uh, it's always a very risky situation of moving in this game because you never know if somebody's lurking in a bush, uh, looking through a window in the building. So you always have to stay on your toes. Your head has to be on a swivel and you always have to look around, make sure nobody's watching you cross that field or you just have to do it very fast. And it's always good to get in tactically advantageous positions. So it's you have to think, OK, the white circle is here. So the safe zone is here. Where can I get in this safe zone that will give me the biggest tactical advantage on my enemy? So most of the time it's getting on the high ground or getting into buildings on the second floor so you can have a good overview of all, everything around you, making sure that people aren't trying to flank you or even if people are coming into your building, it's always good to be on the second floor and it gives them a, a false sense of security so they feel as though um, they can enter that building without any any risk so it's all a part of being very tactical especially if you're in a squad you're going to want uh, all your teammates to look different directions and make sure that nobody is coming to uh, put you to your impending doom the next thing is the looting at the beginning of the rounds it brings me back to some mmo fields so i played a lot of War world of warcraft back in the day and i really like the looting and system in that i mean looting is always fun you get good gear you're happy about it and this is what happens in the beginning of rounds so basically you pick a spot you parachute down and then you hope to god that there's good loot there uh, or else you might 
not make it through the game all that much. So there's always some element of like uh, running around trying to find better weapons, attachments, uh, backpacks, armor, and all that stuff. So it, it, I find the beginning of the round to be very fun. And you, you, when you're playing with friends, it's like, oh, well, I found this. You want this? and that. So it, it, it's just a very cool part of the game, and I really like that. Uh, also, teamwork is key that brings me back to the very tactical uh, part of the video but teamwork is everything when you're playing in a squad or a duo uh, it's gonna bring you to the end game that is for sure if you're working as a team you can't just be off doing your own little thing because uh, everybody's gonna be in squads of three or four so being solo against squads of three or four is very difficult because more often than not they will have the advantage on you of weapons and of course of numbers so uh, you have to work as a team you have to move as a team and you have to make sure that everybody is in sync and even like shoot pe the same people at the same time so they go down faster and then move on to the next target as opposed to everybody shoots their own target so that's something that's very uh, predominant in this game is teamwork. The next thing is the skill gap of beginner players and more seasoned players. So this skill gap is very apparent. This is a game that the more you play, the better you will get. The better you will get with map knowledge, the better you will get with gun accuracy, the better you will get with gun recoil, the better you will get with driving cars or just, uh, just knowing where you have to go or ha when the best time is to move and where you should shoot your enemies. Uh, it it's just a big thing of learning the whole game and you can tell that begin who the beginner players are and who the more seasoned players are so the more seasoned players are going to be in tactically advantageous spots uh, they're going to be most more than likely uh in the circle already with a good position or on the outer edge of the force field waiting for people to run in to take them down and they're just going to be very, much more accurate. They're going to be a lot quicker reaction time. Uh, grenades are something that's very difficult in this game, and they're more than likely going to use them more. Uh, as for beginner players, I was even having a hard time playing this game when I just started. It is a very difficult game to learn, but if you play it a lot, it pays off, and you will get better at the game and win some games, which is very rewarding when you do so. So the last thing is the variety of weapons and equipment. There is already quite a bit of variety of weapons and equipment in this game. You can find assault rifles, SMGs, shotguns, pistols, uh, sniper rifles, uh, LMGs, so all of these different weapons, and I, I do assume there will be a lot more when the game is a full launch, and they're probably going to keep bringing more out so this is, I, I love the fact that there's a lot of things to choose from. You can have your favorite weapon and your favorite sidearm and melee weapons and all that. There's just a lot of variety of things to choose from to engage in combat in this game. And that is something I really love about the game. And you can also modify your weapons with different gun attachments. You can choose to play longer range if you have 4 times scope or 8 times scope. Or you can choose to be closer up and personal or hide your shots with silencers or suppressors for that matter and have a red dot sight. So there's all these different ways of approaching the actual game and how you want to play it and just adapt your play style with the attachments that you get. So that is something that is very cool and I'm sure they will bring out more weapons and equipment in the future. So I'm very excited for that. So these are all the reasons why I think Battlegrounds is so good and why it is so addictive. I mean, you can just die and then go straight back into another game. And it, when you're going into a game and you get really far, it is so intense and, and like stressful and there's so many emotions going on that you just want more of that, even though it is sometimes torture to actually play another game because your heart can't take it. I mean, it is so great and you just can't get enough of it. And this, this game just has that little something that I can't really put my finger on it, but it just makes it so good. So uh, if you guys haven't checked out this game yet, please do so. Um, it, it's not very expensive. It's $36 Canadian, so it's about $25 American on Steam Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Uh, I really urge you guys to try it. If you don't like it, you can always get refunded if you play it under 2 hours and 14 days. So it, it, it's really... You guys have to try this game. So uh, in the comments down below, let me know if you already tried the game, if you liked it. And also, while you're down there, be sure to hit the like button if you liked the video, the dislike button if you didn't. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.